Hey, um, I'm Sine Bindslev Henriksen, and I am a partner in space. Uh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, the, the, the nice thing about an iPhone is that you can relate it to the body. I mean, you can hold it in your hand, which is a little more difficult with a bus. Um, but, um, but of course, a bus can, uh, can become as sexy as an iPhone. You just have to give me some time to, to think that one through. I think it's uh, important that we uh, that we that we keep the the whole idea about the sustainability alive in a sense that we don't uh, necessarily talk about sustainable design, but that we as designers also uh, uh, actually do design things thought also sustainable, which means that uh, that it shouldn't be a compromise. Uh, sexy design or design which is just as important and interesting uh, should be made uh, sustainable. I think that again I think the whole idea about thinking uh, CSR and thinking sustainable is a, is a movement and uh, right now it's a it's a very important wave that we are all a part of and uh, by by keeping the dialogue alive and by uh, by thinking uh, uh, by thinking uh, uh, the whole process of living, not just design, but the whole way of living, as we did uh, with the ecological groceries in in the 80s and the 90s. I think it uh, it becomes a natural way of living uh, because there's. Uh, there's no other way that uh, that will survive without it. So I think uh, I think I think it's not I think it's not a talk about or a discussion about you know all the things that we focus on all the things that we're not able to when things uh, are created or uh, 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 developed sustainable, but that we see it as a plus. Uh, to the rest of uh, our way of thinking and living that things are sustainable and create a sustainable. I think cities uh, should, and, and uh, especially uh, old cities with a, with a culture and a, and a story uh, and a history um, amplifies life by its diversity. I think the diversity is uh, is the is the most important thing that we uh, that we care about in the city instead of uh, the the mono uh, culture and the, the the mono brand and the mono idea of of, of living. So I think we in the Western culture have a great responsibility uh, in this process of sustainability because uh, we have. Uh, we have covered all our basic needs. I mean, uh, a lot of uh, people in other areas of the world uh, do not have uh, uh, the same opportunities of uh, of thinking about sustainability because uh, because they need to think about how they get their next may meal or uh, uh, all their basic needs, how they fulfill them uh, and their families. Hello, my name is uh, Peter Bunker Rutzow, and uh, I'm also a partner in space. Well, I think in the sense that, that MAMIS refers to, to habits or certain, uh, certain ways of getting through your everyday, I think that uh, there are probably two, two large factors. There's, there's something generated by pleasure and something generated by necessity. And I think there are also other factors. I think that <coughs> the issue of time, uh, sort of associated to the to the uh, to the event, is very important. Say to the the, the habit of coffee drink. In the sense that that sustains is is uh, means keep the spirit of life present. Uh, then I very much think so. And I think if you talk about 
architecture and space and the distribution of events and objects in space. I think very much so for them to have any meaning at all, they have to be directly loaded and fueled by personal stories or collective stories, group stories. Uh, but, but all the stories that have to relate to space in the city have to relate to the individual in a sense that feels natural. It has to be without too much intellectual approach. It has to be something that works without anybody else saying anything about it. It has to be immediate and obvious. For some instances of getting through life, which is a rather difficult task for everybody, you need the segregation to be present at some level. I mean, it is also a, a large task if you just had one sort of side of yourself. If, if all your activities were just described by one one sentence or one context. I think actually having a, a separation between yourself as a working person and a private person uh, does give you some sense of security as a human being, as a, an existential question. Uh, but I also agree that it is overlapping and I see, that, uh, I see that as a paradox and I'm not really sure in what direction it's going. And I'm not even sure how people over the next few generations will handle it. But I am sure that it is a question that will demand some looking into for the, uh, for the coming future. The reason to build a city is, uh, and to have the city grow and expand is uh, generated by curiosity as something that is genetically in, in our race, the curiosity aspect, the, uh, the notion of, of going somewhere else that we are we at presently is, is so strong that I think that that is a, a permanent com com component in, in any kind of uh, strategy. You, you simply cannot ex escape it. I mean, the, uh, the negation of that would be fear, which is also very motivating and, in fact, an expression of the same, just with a, a different sort of uh, take on it. So I, I, think, uh, I think there are all kinds of, uh, of uh, contributing factors to, uh, to, to, to things that are changing and, and growing. And as I said before, a collective factor. I mean, you do have to have a city grow. You've got to have someone with passion, but you also got to have someone with money. So very rarely you see projects that just consist of one aspect alone. I think it's, uh, it, it is probably in the, the interaction between the, the opposite uh, motivating factors that, that the interesting stuff, and at least reality crystallizes itself best. But you could imagine buildings uh, being public spaces. You could imagine buildings as parks. I mean, if you can't do it horizontally and you need to add on, why not use something uh, but, but you sort of uh, you pull the purpose of it inside out. So I think uh, both adding on with new context and, and new space and new uh, sort of distribution of space is one possibility and it will definitely happen. But I also am a little bit more curious to see sort of what is going to happen with things that are already here. There's also the, the question of demolition. When do you, it's, it's for some reason it's, it's so much harder emotionally to tear down a building than decide to build a new one. So, so giving that factor, I, I hope that someone will come up with a, a more free-thinking way of, uh, of using sort of things that have already been set into production, things that have always, that have already acquired people's uh, energy and imagination and resources. Yeah.